usually just get to do one, and everybody always knows me as the uh, Mr. Cat came back, which I am going to start with, but you can hear another song tonight, too. Uh, old Mr. Johnson had troubles of his own. He had a yellow cat that wouldn't leave its home. He tried and he tried to give that cat away. He gave it to a man going far, far away. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back, oh, they thought he was a goner. The cat came back, just couldn't stay away. No, no, no. No, 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 no. He gave it to a boy with a five dollar note. Took it up the river in a little paddle boat. He tied a rope around its neck, it must have weighed a pound. Now they're dragging the river for the little boy that drowned. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back, oh, they thought he was a goner. The cat came back, he just couldn't stay away. No, no, no. No, 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 no. He gave it to a man who lived in L.A. Who set it out to play on a busy freeway. Cars swerved to the left and they swerved to the right. Forty cars piled up on the freeway that night. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back, oh, they thought he was a goner. The cat came back, just couldn't stay away. No, no, no. No, 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 no. And I see a lot of you mouthing the words. I know you know it, both the adults and kids both. You're welcome to sing along. Gave it to a butcher who lived down the street. Put it in his grinder and he ground it up for meat. He ground and he ground till he heard a loud shriek. And all the meat in town tasted furry for a week. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back, oh, they thought he was a goner. The cat came back, he just couldn't stay away. No. No, 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 no. Mr. Johnson's neighbor said he'd shoot that cat on sight. So he loaded up his shotgun with nails and dynamite. He waited and he waited for that cat to come around. Ninety-seven pieces of the man was all they found. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back, oh, they thought he was a goner. The cat came back, he just couldn't stay away. No, no, no. No, 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 no. They dropped the atom bomb just the other day. Then they dropped the H-bomb in much the same way. England's gone and Russia's gone and now the USA. The whole world was blown to bits on that very day. But the cat came back the very next day. The cat came back, oh, they thought he was a goner. The cat came back, just couldn't stay away. No, no, no. No, 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 no. The cat back the very next day. The cat came back, oh, they thought he was a goner. The cat came back, just couldn't stay away. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Okay, second song, thank you very much. Uh, sec second song I'm going to do um, is one that the, the kids all know, not because I play it that often, although they've heard me play it, uh, but because it was popular on the radio and it came from a very, very popular movie. I first heard it when I saw the movie with my youngest daughter a couple years ago, Catching Fire, uh, which probably some of you saw with your kids. 
Uh, and the, the song Hanging Tree from, from that movie. Um, I, I love old folk music, folk rock, and it just really has the words and the melody both just have a feeling, even though it's a modern song of an old folk song, and I fell in love with it, and so I decided I was going to learn it. And so here we are at the Hanging Tree. Oops, I got the capo on her, I'll be singing. Wait a minute. Are you, are you coming to the tree where they strung up a man? They say who murdered three. Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be if we met at midnight in the hanging tree. Are you, are you coming to the tree where the dead man called out for his love to flee? Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be if we met at midnight in the hanging tree. Are you, are you coming to the tree where I told you to run so we both be free? Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be if we met at midnight in the hanging tree. Are you? Are you coming to the tree where a necklace of hope is side by side with me? Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be if we met at midnight in the hanging tree.
You know, after you murdered me. Look, we both said a lot of things that you are going to regret. But I'm happy to put it all aside for science, you monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Here we are, the incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. When you find it, we can get back to work. Just like old times. Oh, there it is. Good, you have a dual portal device. Then we should be way back to the testing area up ahead. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? Apparently, I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to read of you killing me again and again forever. Now, if you don't do that to anyone else, they might devote their entire life to exacting existence to their revenge. Luckily, I am a bigger person than that, and I'm happy to put it all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do.
Thank you. 
our Keisha Cheer Squad, and for our next one, we would like to welcome Brody and the Clown.
Crush and Cheer Squad. Yes, you guys are the winners. So, where's our trophy? I'm sorry, there is no trophy. There's gotta be a medal in the uh, No, you get the satisfaction of winning. So, there is no money. No. Why did we enter this? Sorry, senior. starts his day before he heads off to high desert. Wave hi to the folks, little Larry. All right, first little Larry needs to brush his teeth. So find that toothbrush. Oh, there's the paste. Make sure you get lots on there. Okay, extra brushing. Keep going, extra brushing. Nice job, little Larry. All right, don't forget to rinse. All right, next, Larry needs to wash his face. Good job, Larry. Make sure you get it all cleaned. Yes, don't forget to use the wash rag. Add the soap, all nice and lathered up. There we go. Make sure you get all that chocolate off from last night. There we go. Okay, now we wouldn't be complete if we didn't comb our hair. So little Larry, make sure you comb that hair. Yeah. Extra smooth, nice. so it's really important we eat that breakfast. All right, Larry loves to be super nutritious, so he's gonna start off with a fruit pie. There we go. It looks like blueberry to me. Delicious. Did you make sure to get it all in there? nutritious Twinkie included, you got to make sure that you have your carbohydrates here. So we're going to add in the carbohydrates. And to make sure that he's extra peppy for testing next week, he's got to drink his energy drink. It's just a little one. Cause you know just what to say And you know just what 
It was a big, big world, but we thought we were bigger. Pushing each other to the limits, we were learning quicker. By 11, smoking herb and drinking burning liquor. Never rich, so we were out to make that steady bigger. Once I was 11 years old, my daddy told me, go get yourself a wife or you'll be lonely. Once I was 11 years old. I always had that dream like my daddy before me. So I started writing songs, I started writing stories, something
my eyes I saw a shadow flying high He came to me with the sweetest smile Told me he wanted to talk for a while He said, Peter Pan, that's what they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely
interested, the snack bar will be open for a few minutes after the show. Have a good night.